Hi, I'm Lucille or Lace or Short and I'm back at it again with another Princess Connect video. Today I'll be talking about efficient farming and I guess generally just really making good use of your limited stamina. As we all know, gachas revolve around stamina, so we've got to be real careful with it. First, let's talk about some basic principles and then I've got some data mine info for you. If nothing else, at least watch the data mine bit and then I've got a tool for you that might help you. It might confuse you, but I'll throw it out there just in case it does help. Push equipment ranks over shards or soft launch slash early game. I'm not saying don't do hard mode. On the contrary, do hard mode, but do it for the equipment and not the shards. I think it's very important to get one strong team first so that you can actually farm the rest of the world. That is unless you're playing like a madman and you're not rolling until prefez, which is in probably like eight months or something. In which case, again, you're a madman. And the reason this is good for madmen is because you can easily farm to boost the culinary gang's stars. Push as far as you can. The further you push, the more options you have and combinations of the equipment that you could farm. This dramatically increases the value of your stamina spent because you could potentially be getting two or three of the materials that you need as opposed to just one. Yes, sometimes this does mean sacrificing a point of stamina for failing, but if you did succeed, you might actually be able to double the efficiency of your stamina at that point in time by farming an even more efficient stage. Unfortunately, you just don't know until you try. So I'm saying you gotta try. Hard difficulty is generally a better stage to farm than normal difficulty. So this is actually due to the shard and an extra bit of drop rate. For example, imagine two stages offered the same item that you needed, uh, let's say emerald earrings. So assuming that these emerald earrings are in the first or second slot of the drop table for normal mode. So this is normal mode here. Normal, 411. And I'll explain why right after this. From a stamina to drop rate ratio, the hard stage is actually better. These are the numbers, and again, I'll explain why right after. But for the normal stage, you're gonna be spending nine stamina for a 36% drop rate on the first two items. So that's the yellow and the green earrings here, and a 24% drop rate on the third item versus an 18 stamina spend for a approximately 50% chance at a shard and a 72% chance at each of these three items. The catch is that you typically can't clear the harder stages to farm the strongest equipment, which is usually the top leftmost slot. Let's break that down a bit. So the data mine drop rates. I didn't just pull these figures out of thin air. There are data mine drop rates for the quests. Again, if nothing else, at least watch this bit so you can be informed. Generally, the first two items on a normal difficulty stage, so this is normal, 411, the first two items in the drop table drop at a 36% drop rate. The third item dropping at 24%. This applies typically from world 2 through to whatever the last world is. For hard mode, the shard drops at about 50% chance. And this actually increases depending on the world. So the harder the world, the higher the drop rate. It goes up to, I think, just under 60%. And the rest of the items are at a flat 72%. So remember, if you compare it back to the normal mode, it's 36, 36, 24. This is 72, 72, 72. So you can already tell that double the stamina, but it's not 72, 72, what's 24 times two? 48, it's not 72, 72, 48. 72, 72, 72. Skip tickets, although they're not in the loot table, they drop at a rate of about 30 to 40% for normal worlds and about 60 to 80% for hard difficulty stages. Again, I give this range because it scales with the world level. And there actually is an other items category in which all of the items have an equal drop rate of 20%, meaning you will always get at least one of these five items from a stage. So when you come out of a stage with just one like brown item, you got cocked. All of this data mine information, big credits to the quest farming spreadsheet and the guys who helped out in JP for the data mine details. I'll drop a link down below, you read it more extensively, but I pretty much summarized it. So here's a quick look at the spreadsheet. Everything that I've said, it's pretty much a summary of everything in here. Like as long as you kind of remember the details I said, you don't really need the spreadsheet. With all of this information, I offer you a tool. I personally don't think the tool is uh, critical, but it definitely could help. So this tool allows you to see at a glance, I guess, the most efficient stages. So you can actually select or deselect the equipments that you have. So here I actually populated it. I need one ax, I need one of this armor. And then I come down here and then it's actually showing me all of the different combinations and which stages I can farm them for. So you can see that the ones with all three of them, those are the most efficient stages. And if you do have the prerequisites to some of them, because when you add these, 
it actually adds all of the ingredients into it as well. So you can actually deselect these and it will only show you the ones that you actually need. So play around with it, it's pretty intuitive. Again, it's not critical, it's a pretty nice to have, it's a pretty good planner. And with that, we've arrived at the end yet again. Unfortunately, I don't have a quick and dirty summary this time, but this is probably the best I've got. If nothing else, at least read the data mine drop rate summary, it will really help you boost your efficiency and just have a play around with the tool. See if it's useful, if it's not, then um, I'm, I'm sorry. As always, I appreciate y'all. I've been getting so much love on my videos. I am ecstatic. Thank you guys so much. If something is not clear or there's something you'd like us all to know, do drop a comment below. I would appreciate it. The community would appreciate it. But again, that's it. If I've helped you, like, comment, follow, subscribe, whatever it is, you already know what it is. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.